All right, folks, welcome. It is time to start coding and making things work. This is uh, what we're going to build today just to begin with. This is most of our base uh, that we'll be working with. It's called the VEX Cortex there on the left. And then we need a battery to power it too. You might ask, where do I find all this stuff? Those base pieces you've been working with for the last week or so, you know those are in the back of the room. The Cortexes and batteries you're going to find over here. And there's a big bin of Cortexes. Please be very careful with these. They do cost 250 bucks each. If I need to replace them, that's what my cost is. And then you're going to notice if you need a new battery, it says charged batteries right here. Okay? So you are going to pick up a Cortex and a battery. You bring it over to your table where you've been working. And we have to build this. Okay? Notice that you don't even have to put screws in all the openings on the Cortex. Just kind of on a couple corners to hold it still. Um, the battery plugs in the front here. You're going to find the cord, however it fits together. Okay, uh, and it only fits in one way, so if you can't get that little plug to fit in, turn it over uh, and then try it that way. Once you're done, you're going to notice that there's an on-off switch here too. If it's off, switch it to on. And when you do, we should get some lights to light up on it. The light for robot should be green. That means you got a charged battery. If the robot light is either yellow or red, it means your battery is getting close to dead or it's, it's low on power, so you should turn the Cortex off, unplug the battery, and get a fresh one. All right? Please build this, and then the first thing we're going to do, your next lesson is how to turn on that light for three seconds. All right? So build it. Good luck. <laughs> 